Okay, I'm gonna try to actually make these recordings because I keep forgetting to do them. So this is the answer to question 14. Uh, let's just get the pen and um, I do want to discuss a little bit um, the using using more ratios or just working with ratios in general in chemistry. I think it is worth mentioning. Now with these kind of questions, I think the other thing that's important to remember is there is more than one way to set it out, but I'm just going to approach every question using the same method. You don't necessarily have to do it, but if you're stuck, then at least you have something to fall back on. So we're going to start by just reading the question. You need to calculate the amount of energy. So the unknown here is, well, amount of energy release, really. So E release is what you need. When some octane gas reacts with excess air under SFC condition according to this equation, given that 50 liter carbon dioxide is produced. Okay, so essentially I have the volume of carbon dioxide, which is 50 liter. So VCO2 is 50 liter. And you know that the condition is SLC. Now, because CO2 is a gas, the fact that you have SLC condition also means that you could either use the universal gas law because a gas and you have the pressure and temperature of SLC, or which so pressure is 100 kPa and the temperature is 25 Celsius degree for SLC. Or you can use the molar volume for SLC, which is 24.8 liter per mole of gas. So either way is fine. Now the reason why I bring this up is if you use either of these two methods and the volume of CO2 given, then you could find the number of mole of CO2. Now why is it that we want to find the number of mole of CO2? It's because of the thermochemical equation that's given to you. And I think it's very important to understand what kind of information the thermochemical equation is trying to give you. And one way to look at it is it actually creates a ratio between the amount of energy released, and it is released because delta H is negative, and the amount of reactant or product used. So if I just look at this number and the coefficient of, I need to look at CO2 from the equation, I know that I can create a ratio between energy release and number of mole of CO2. So for every 10,108 kilojoules of energy that's released, you also get 16 mole of carbon dioxide. So this is the relationship, the ratio between energy released and the number of mole of CO2. So if you can find the number of mole of carbon dioxide that is in 50 liter, you should be able to find the number, the energy released when that much CO2 is released since they have to follow this ratio as well. So just to, to actually do the question, I'm going to start by finding number of mole of CO2. I'm going to use the molar volume of SLC, which is, so we need to find V of CO2. Sorry, we need to find N of CO2. You're given volume, which is 50 liter, and because it is SLC, they are going to follow the ratio of molar volume of SLC. So if I have one mole of CO2, it's going to have a volume of 24.8 liter. So the number of mole of CO2 is going to be 50 times 1 over 24.8. And I mean, obviously, if you think about it logically, it's just 50 divided by 24.8. I've done zero, so that doesn't help. Okay, 50 divided by 24.8, which is 2.016 mole or something like that. And now that I have this, I can use the ratio, re ratio from equation.
to find energy released. Okay, so again, E released for 50 liter of CO2 is going to be the same. Uh, I'm just going to write it here per 50 liter of CO2. It's going to be the same as E release per 2.016 mole of CO2. And this is equivalent to the ratio from the equation, which is 10,108 kilojoules for every 16 mole of CO2. I do find it really useful to include the units in the ratio, just so you remember what unit you're supposed to have with everything and whether you need to do a conversion of unit. So the energy release here is going to be 2.016 times 110108 over 16. Okay, I'm using the exact value from the calculator. So we're going with 1,273, 1,273 point 689 so kilojoules. And lastly, I'm going to go back and find significant figures. So we're going to go with three sig fig because of um, the volume given is in 360 kilojoules. All right, so that's my final answer. Is that what I got the first time I did? Well, close enough. So something like that will do. Um, okay, I'm going to stop. So that's the end of question 14. Let me just close.